Hey there, it's Kathy Mazak, and it's early in the morning, even over here, it's just 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I just finished feeding our four new baby cows that we have on our farm. We're really getting started now, and, uh, and so I've been up for a while. But anyway, good morning, and welcome to The Writing Reset. So let me talk a little bit about the idea behind The Writing Reset, since this is the first day. And then I'll get started. Today we're talking about resetting writing systems. So the first thing to say about a writing reset is that at the beginning of the new year, I think everybody's looking for like a piece of newness, right? A piece, some kind of way to start fresh and see where 2019 takes us. So that was the idea behind the writing reset. It was like, well, maybe at the by December, your writing practice just kind of went out the window. <laughs> um, hi, Brianna. And, um, and so it's time to really like get your practice back in line and see where 2019 can take you. So that's the point of the writing reset. And we'll be talking each day this week, Monday through Friday, we're going to be talking about different um, aspects of your writing to reset. So today we're talking about writing systems. And then tomorrow we'll talk about writing goals. Um, Wednesday we'll be writing mindset. Thursday we'll be writing focus. And Friday we'll be writing community. All right, so we're gonna reset all those things. Yay! Okay, so today we're talking about systems. So let me talk a little bit about why you need to have a writing system and why I use the word writing system. So I think that part of what makes us feel frazzled and kind of harried and pulled in a thousand directions is that we don't have a clear system for writing. Um, we keep putting it on our to-do list like it's a to-do instead of an integral part of our career and our work. And that kind of thing, like, like writing on your to-do lists, it just keeps falling to the bottom, right? I mean, it's like something we can get to whenever because a lot of times we don't have external deadlines on our writing, like they're, they're really kind of self-imposed deadlines. And so we really need to start thinking about writing as a system rather than as a task that we need to do. Writing isn't a task. There are tasks that make up writing projects, but writing isn't a task. It doesn't go on a line item on your to-do list. So that's the first reset button to hit is how you think about writing. What you need to do is think of writing as a system rather than think about writing as a task or a to-do, okay? So as a system, there's some aspects to it that we wanna develop. Um, we want a system that's flexible. So we want a writing system that can change with the ebb and flow of the semester, but never completely disappear, right? So we want this kind of flexible system that we can expand when we need to expand it and contract it when it makes sense to contract it and not, and, and most of all, not feel guilty about any of those things. So the flexibility of the system is really important. Along with flexibility though, we need to strive for consistency, okay? So we need to make sure that whatever we're doing, we're doing it on a consistent basis. The, I think a lot of people think that consistency means that I have to write every day. I don't think that you have to write every day to get projects done. And I really think that for a lot of people, writing every day backfires. So if it works for you in terms of um, a system or to keep, you know, your writing going, writing every day is fantastic if you can do it. The problem is if you can't do it, then, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Ooh. If you can't do it, then you feel horrible. <coughs> okay, so if you can't do it, you feel horrible. And that's, that's just awful. And we don't want that. So, um... So you're looking for consistency, you're striving for, um, for um, not every day, but you're striving for regularity, okay? So you're looking for something that's regular. And what I'm going to give you as advice for right now is regular means 
once a week. Okay, so we need to start small and build in lots of consistent wins in order to have a writing system that sticks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do our, our baseline is going to be um, working on our writing once a week. And then the third thing I was going to talk about today was a, we need this system that we can build up over time. Okay, so we start with one writing session a week and I'll talk in a minute about how you might decide on how to structure that writing session. And then you build it up over time, right? But don't feel like you have to build it up to every day or that you have to build it up for three hours a day. Um, if you choose not to or if you can't in your schedule, then you don't and it's fine. So that's really important. Um, I think it's very important to know that you need to build things up consi with consistency and flexibility, but but, re but a system where you have room to build it up over time and that you start small and aim for wins from the beginning. So let's talk a little bit about um, the, your system. All right, I'm going to give you, I'm just basically going to ask you some questions about um, about how that are going to help you kind of form what your system is going to be. So first I want to ask like is there one time a week that you can keep a regular appointment with your writing? Um, and we're just going to start out with one hour a week once a week. Okay so that's your goal for today is just to put one hour a week once a week on your calendar as an appointment. So what I mean by on your calendar as an appointment is that you block it off, like let's imagine if you keep your calendar on the Google Calendar, you block it off and it says busy. Now, maybe there's, um, maybe there's um, a, maybe there's um, somebody else who sees your calendar. Okay, so if there's an administrator who sees your calendar or if there's a secretary who sees your calendar or your spouse or whoever, you can, I'm giving you permission to call your writing something else if you think that that person is going to try to schedule on top of it. And if that person is you, then you, you know, then you need to have a strict talk with yourself about scheduling on top of your writing. So what it means to make a writing appointment and keep it is the exact same thing as making a meeting with the dean and keeping the writing and keeping that appointment or a doctor's you know meeting, a doctor's appointment. You are going to keep that, right? It took you 2 months to get that appointment. You're going to keep it. That's the kind of attitude I want you to take towards your writing because your writing is asking you for only 1 hour a week one day a week so far. Okay, so what you're going to do is just do that. Now let me talk a little bit about how you're going to find your hour in the, um, and then I will wrap up this short video. I'm aiming for around 10 minutes or less. So here's how you're going to choose that hour. You want to choose an hour where you feel fresh and focused normally. Okay, so you want an hour of that of the day, like think about like the time of the day. Again, you're setting yourself up for success as much as possible. So think about the time of the day where you feel the most um, energized and focused. Okay, for me, that time is in the morning. Maybe for you, it's after lunch or in the evening, whatever. But you're gonna pick the time when you are on. Okay, when you are like really excited and happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want and of course that's not necessarily predictable every day but um, but you have a time so think about when that time is and you want to use that an hour during that time so for me it's going to be in the morning okay first thing in the morning um, if you're not sure when you have energy or focus then I'm going to suggest a time for you and it's going to be as soon as you get to work on Monday morning and here's what you're going to do you're going to sit down and write for an hour before you open your email, before you check your to-do list, before you 
do anything. You're just going to open the document that you're working on and write for an hour. Okay, so we can talk a lot more about what things count as writing and um, because I do believe that reading counts as writing and you also need to do strategic planning when you come to your writing. But for the purpose of this 10 minute video, I just want you to develop a system for your writing that is consistent, flexible, um, and that you can build up over time. So find an hour in the week and now, right now, um, put it on your calendar, then come back and comment that you did it or send me a screenshot of your scheduled writing time because that's where we're starting with one hour a week, once a week, that you that you can maintain throughout the whole semester even when you're in the throes of grading and whatever we're talking about, one hour. Okay, so that's your job. Stop just to review. We're thinking about writing as a system, not as a to do uh, on your list, not as a task, but rather as a consistent, flexible system that you can build up over time so that you have writing integrated into your academic life throughout um, every week of the semester. All right, thank you so much for joining me live today. And I will see you later. Bye. Bye.